and we are ready to go start the latest Peter McKinnon challenge, which is contrast. See you in a bit. What's up internet friends? Tiff here and what I am doing today is the latest Peter McKinnon photo challenge. He brilliantly said last week when he put it out, um, he gave a one word description which was contrast and although there are a lot of things that contrast with one another, I've tried to put some thought into this. So today I wanted to I hope I'm not too late. I, I may just have to do this one next week, but um, today I thought I would bring you along with me while I try to figure out what on earth would be an appropriate thing to constitute contrast and cool enough to shoot to where it would garner attention in this competition. So I've entered other photo contests before. I mean, I can count them on one hand, but they've been larger scale and for like prizes such as the the sony contest every year and this year somehow they overlooked my submissions but i haven't done a smaller scale one of these so i wanted to show you sort of the thought that goes into it the behind the scenes and and what it takes i mean who knows lightning could strike and and uh he could choose my submission and in that case, I want to make sure it gets documented and I want to lay out for you guys the steps I've taken in order to have some margin of success in this realm. So let's get started with brainstorming and what constitutes contrast. I've seen a couple of the videos where other YouTubers are calling and, and asking other people. I haven't really done that. I've sort of more just been thinking what it means to myself and I suppose I probably should ask some other people, but you live and you learn. So listen, before uh, I forget, I want to thank today's sponsor, Nachos. If it were for you, I'd look a lot better naked. Thanks, Nachos. Huh. Contrast. Everything I own is black. <laughs> so I thought about doing something not to be a pain in the ass, but to be a little different while not trying to contravene any rules or policies on firearms. But firearms are a part of my life. Since I was young and hunting with my dad or was a soldier in the reserves, or even now where you know i i shoot for fun but i know people have prohibitions against posting those so what i was thinking i would do is something soft something with flowers something nice right uh and contrast that with a gun something hard metal um that's that's a heck of a contrast i guess if you ask me while not promoting guns or violence in, in any semblance of any way, um, but still making it look cool. So I think one of the first things I'm going to try to do is soften up the muzzle of my rifle. So let's try to figure out how we can do that. Let's get to it and try to get some lighting in here. And I've got my new Sony 90mm macro, which I'm also going to do a review of once I feel I have a better grasp on it so I can give you a more intelligent overview. But until then, let's play with it. I have it on my A7R2 and I have my, my rifle. So safety first. So 
no magnet. Just do a, a little check here. Make sure there's nothing in it. Okay, so we're good. We'll take it off fire, put it on safe. And let's see if we can't. I'm obviously not gonna stick my face down the barrel of it, even though I know it's not loaded. Still not that big of a moron. So, oh fuck, you guys can't see it. Let's make it taller. Let's make it even taller. So I'm just setting up my bipod and wanting to, there we go, you can see it now. Now, um, understandably so, I don't think, we only have one grocery store in town and I don't think their priority right now is on flowers. And we don't have any flowers in our yard, but what we do have in our yard is weeds. And weeds can be pretty in a international pandemic. So I went out and I found the prettiest weeds I could. Give me one second. Oh, here we have weeds, dandelions and these purple pretty bell things. And what I wanna do is take the muzzle brake on my rifle and I wanna get an angle like this super close up, but obviously don't want it to look all cold and metal and, and intimidating like like a gun does. So while well, keeping it pointed safely away from my face, uh, within reason, I'm gonna go ahead, try to soften it up a bit with some of these flowers. So stick it with me. Pretty, pretty. And I kick myself when I end up cleaning the flower garbage out of my barrel. How many can we fit in you? I'm sorry. I really don't want to stick these that far. We have our dandelions bursting at the seams. Actually, that's kind of a cool picture right there. Let's try this real quick. I've got this on autofocus now, but obviously probably gonna need to utilize the manual focus a little bit once I get in a little closer. I just want to see how it looks, very preliminary. I'm gonna have to be further away. This is kinda cool, it's a little blurry. I'm gonna kick down the ISO a little bit here. Remember, ISO, it's one of the three. <laughs> we need to know to have any modicum of, of success in this genre. That's kind of cool. Now we want it. In order to have contrast, we need to know that it's it's a rifle, but we want it to look soft in contrast to the flowers. So cool thing on this is the autofocus isn't a switch on the side. Um, it's just this ring on top. So we just go boop down here to manual focus. Boom. Now for the pretty purple flowers. Are these pretty, can you see them? Aw. They're probably like <laughs> poisonous. That's cool. I won't eat them. They don't have to be perfect, but I know that if I have like one particularly unruly one, it's gonna piss me off in every photo. You're supposed to be bursting with pacifism, peace. It's kind of cool though, because I've never taken this long in my life to set up a shot. I don't know if I've ever set up a shot. I'm more of a fly by the seat of my pants, shoot photographs out of window of a moving vehicle type photographer. So we'll see if something more deliberate. All right.
All right, that looks pretty soft or ridiculous. I don't know. Can be both. I'm not here to judge. How's that look? Contrasty? I think so. Let's get to work. After all of that, um, this is what I ended up with. I actually ended up with like a hundred photos, but these are my top three. And I think I am gonna submit the third one. So let's go ahead and do that. All we're gonna do to get that knocked out is as follows. We find what we want, for example, like this guy. Next, can fancy it up if we want, but I think I've done enough to it. All we do, write something clever if we want. Other than that, we do PM photo assignments. Submit this for consideration from one Peter McKinnon. Let's see it, McKinnon. And on to the next challenge, which is entitled Red. Thanks, Pete. Back to the drawing board. I hope this video was helpful to you. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please go ahead and hit that like button. And if you haven't already, please smash that subscribe button. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, be safe, see you soon.